Hello everyone, this is Annette Stanton. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I'm just reflecting on a time when COVID initially hit back in uh, 2020. And as I was reflecting, I was sitting at a cafe and doing some of my creative writing. And I was just, you know, overlooking the horizons of the, the beautiful ocean, um, living close by to the ocean. I'm very fortunate like that sitting in a cafe doing my creative writing overlooking the ocean and this is this is a poem that came to me during a time of reflection uh, whereby my husband's business and my business uh, had had stopped suddenly you know um, and we were in a, a deep reflection time which I, I believe a lot of people were um, forced to have a good look at what the highest priorities were at the time. And this poem came to and through me as I was reflecting on the horizons and it's called New Horizons. And it goes like this. As I look upon the horizons, I feel a sense of freedom, a sense of new horizons, even though it is not clear to me yet. I feel a deep knowing as I take a deep breath. I trust it will become clearer. Where the clouds meet the ocean, there is a never-ending space of opportunity. Allow the space to open, not to fill it up with old beliefs. Just like the unlimited water droplets in the ocean, feel the spaciousness within, as this will set you free. Like a bird flowing through the breeze, Clarity of your direction will appear, one step at a time each moment of every day. Feel the space within as you connect with this moment in time. So new horizons, when going through transition and change, it can be very scary. Stress and anxiety can come up for you uncertainty and the fear and you know and self-doubt fear of the unknown doubt in your own abilities in where to from here moving forward if you're going through that change or transition and it's very challenging to see the horizon in front of you so that's where I felt that I was at when I wrote this and when I say I felt it that was what my story from within the feeling of that was and yet when I was in a moment of doing my creative writing and just being in the space of my um, my zone my inner knowing listening into the inner voice this is the poem that came through which helped me to not fight it because a lot of the times what we do is we resist we resist what is, there is to be with in this moment and yes in challenging times, we bump, bump up against, we push up against and tell ourselves it's, you know, it shouldn't be this way or when's it going to improve or we want to get back to the new norm, you know, the new normal and all that sort of thing or back to where we used to be, um, whereby that's the past. And one of the awakenings that I've had is that inside of every change, challenge, transition, and I've certainly been through many of them in my you know, um, 50 decades um, of living, been through a lot of challenging uh, transitions in life and in business. And one of the biggest lessons that I've learned is it's always in the sitting inside the uncertainty. That is where you become more and more conscious and have a new awakening if you sit inside it without fighting it. The, whenever I fought it even more, um, process the past, thinking about the future, worrying about this, worrying about that. Whenever I sat inside of that, then I was never really truly hearing the inner knowing and the inner voice, and the inner whispers that I'm talking about inside the poem that came through, which, which, you know, surprised me the depth of that at that time. And how connected we are with nature and how infinite possibilities are all around us. Yet if we're fighting it, we will not see the opportunities out there that are available to us, right? So um, there are many wise people out there in the, in the uh, world of personal growth and spiritual growth who I've often heard them speak about 
when you um, fight what is you know what you resist will persist when you fight up against it then you you actually then are engaging in that and you will not be able to um, see the opportunities let alone feel it because of the, your own energy and vibration of fighting up against the other thing that um, was a big awakening is the fact that from what these um, uh, mentors of mine have said in the past is the fact that those people who are going through major transition and change okay, are the ones that will either get, become very, very conscious and awaken to the evolution of who they are, stepping into the essence of who they truly are and then being able to express their natural gifts and talents as the authentic person that you truly are, who you are meant to be on this planet and express with the world. Yeah. So when you're sitting inside of the discomfort and then practicing being comfortable inside the uncomfortable was the greatest challenge that I faced. <laughs> Especially someone who's a go-getter and a bit of a, a perfectionist and you know had to have it all lined up and so forth, right? But the universe had uh, other uh, direction for me, <laughs> right? <laughs> So when we don't fight it, and then noticing, as I mentioned here, not filling it up with old beliefs. So, you know, noticing when it's, it will notice the beliefs that come up and then challenge those beliefs based on who you are today and who, who you are becoming and then tapping into that so that you can then, you know, take the next inspired step through the listening in. But generally what we do is we want to fill the space instead of feel the space because the, the space of uncertainty is very uncomfortable and it creates it brings up a lot of beliefs and you know things that can actually stop you and sabotage you and and have you surviving life versus thriving and flowing in life with with momentum that flows with ease instead of force yeah and drive all those sorts of things to make things happen let's let's um eliminate all of that in, re in regard to that type of language because we know that language is um, what you think about uh, is what you'll bring about. So in the words that you speak is, you know, is, is what, what you will create in the world. So be conscious, becoming conscious. And this is the, the um, I guess, the, the pathway, the bridge, yeah, building that bridge in regard to Allowing it to come to and through you. It's the biggest challenge. I remember, you know, um, about three years ago, there was a, a woman who, very much a high achiever, and she was in a space of, beautiful space of, of like, now it's time for me to invest in me and it's, it's time to, to really work on where I want to take myself and my business and, and uh, you know, in a new space. But she was too impatient. She was too quickly ready to fill the space. Where to from here? What are we doing? Right? So it takes time. It takes patience to listening in. So that the new horizons and the new opportunities open up in front of you and you're a witness to that. But if you try and fill the space up, it always comes from a past um, habit, a past programming. Yeah? or a expected, hopeful future that you want to live into. All right. So if, if that's something that you're interested in knowing more about, then um, please feel free to contact me and I'd be happy to have a conversation with you. I work with people in these areas and beyond, um, looking at you know the growth of who they are now and who are you becoming. And if you're going through a change and uh, looking upon new horizons, in that particular arena of you know uncertainty, then um, please feel free to reach out and we can have a conversation about that. Thank you, my name's Annette Stanton. Looking forward to connecting with you soon. Enjoy living into your new horizons. Bye for now.